Hello, it's Tuesday the 19th. I'm FX Plu and this is CurrencyTransfer.com's Market Update. The headlines today are that sterling slides as Parliament bans a third vote, the dollar is down as the market considers a more dovish Fed, and the Eurozone trade surplus is larger than expected. So the Speaker of the House of Commons, he's the guy who oversees Parliament and keeps order in the House, he invoked a 400-year-old rule which states that MPs cannot be asked to vote on the same bill over and over again. The DUP looked unlikely to side with the government anyway, so the vote may not have taken place, but there needs to be substantial changes to May's deal if it's to be put before the House again this week. So what now for a Brexit process in chaos? Well, Theresa May will request an extension to the departure date. Brussels may or may not entertain such a request. And for how long? Because remember, any extension past June 30th will mean that the UK needs to field candidates for the European elections. Sterling dropped on the news yesterday as the markets had become optimistic that a deal could be approved. It fell to a low of 131.85 before closing a slightly higher around 132.55. On the calendar today, we've got employment data, but that's unlikely to have any major effect on sterling unless wage inflation data is way off market expectation of 3.4%. The dollar index fell to 96.40 as the markets warmed to the idea of a more dovish Fed in reaction to a perceived softening of the US economy. Tomorrow's FOMC meeting will not see any change to rates, but the tone of the press conference may set the stage well into Q2. Eurozone trade data comfortably beat market expectation. This was the first positive sign for an economy suffering falling output and lower inflation. It added a little more to a euro which was already gaining against a weakening dollar, and we saw a high of 113.60 for euro dollar, just short of challenging resistance that is at 113.80. We'll keep you posted. Any questions, please pop them in the comments below.